A source-to-source -source compiler, transcompiler or transpiler is a type of compiler that takes the source code of a program written in one programming language as its input and produces the equivalent source code in another programming language. A source-to-source -source compiler may perform a translation of a program at roughly the same level like from Pascal to C, while a traditional compiler translates from a language like C to assembler or Java to bytecode. An automatic parallelizing compiler will frequently take in a high-level language program as an input and then transform the code and annotate it with parallel code annotations e.g., OpenMP or language constructs e.g. Fortran's foral statements. Another purpose of source-to-source -source compiling is translating legacy code to use the next version of the underlying programming language or an API that breaks backward compatibility. It will perform automatic code refactoring which is useful when the programs to refactor are outside the control of the original implementer for example, converting programs from Python 2 to Python 3, or converting programs from an old API to the new API or when the size of the program makes it impractical or time-consuming to refactor it by hand. Transcompilers may either keep translated code structure as close to the source code as possible to ease development and debugging of the original source code, or may change the structure of the original code so much that the translated code does not look like the source code. There are also debugging utilities that map the transpiled source code back to the original code, for example, the JavaScript source map standard allows mapping of the JavaScript code executed by a web browser back to the original source in a transpiled to JavaScript language. Examples of transcompiled languages include Clojure Compiler, CoffeeScript, Dart, Hacks, TypeScript, and MScripten. History One of the earliest programs of this kind was Digital Researchers XLT86 in 1981, a program written by Gary Kildall, which translated ASM source code for the Intel 8080 processor into A86 source code for the Intel 8086. Using global data flow analysis on 8080 register usage, the translator would also optimize the output for code size and take care of calling conventions, so that CP, M80 and MP, M80 programs could be ported to the CP, M86 and MP, M86 platforms automatically. XLT86 itself was written in place, I80 and was available for CP, M80 platforms as well as for DEC VMS for VAX 11750ths or 11780ths. A similar, but much less sophisticated program was Trans, Com, written by Tim Patterson in 1980 as part of 86DOS. It could translate some Z80 assembly source code into ASM source code for the 8086, but supported only a subset of opcodes, registers and modes, often still requiring significant manual correction and rework afterwards. Also it did not carry out any register and jump optimizations. <laughs> Programming language implementations The first implementations of some programming languages started as transcompilers, and the default implementation for some of those languages are still transcompilers. In addition to the table below, a CoffeeScript maintainer provides a list of languages that compile to JavaScript. <laughs> Porting a codebase When developers want to switch to a different language while retaining most of an existing codebase, it might be better to use a transcompiler compared to rewriting the whole software by hand. Depending on the quality of the transcompiler, the code may or may not need manual intervention in order to work properly. This is different from transcompiled languages, where the specifications demand that the output source code always works without modification. All transpilers used to port a codebase will expect manual adjustment of the output source code if there is a need to achieve maximum code quality in terms of readability and platform convention. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Transcompiler pipelines. A transcompiler pipeline is what results from recursive transcompiling. By stringing together multiple layers of tech, with a transcompile step between each layer, technology can be repeatedly transformed, effectively creating a distributed language independent specification. 
XSLT is a general-purpose transform tool which can be used between many different technologies to create such a derivative code pipeline. See also